Hello. So this Blick box came yesterday, but I was feeling kind of yucky, so I didn't open it. And I'm really excited about what it is, or what I think it is, because I think it's actually my Christmas present from 2020. Um, it's been back ordered for such a long time that I actually was thinking for a while I wasn't going to get it because they kept updating it and saying that it was going to ship and then it was, but that it was back ordered again. So that's what I hope it is. So anyways, it's a rainy, damp, yucky day outside. So it, it'll be fun to unpack this and see if it's what I think it is. Okay, here goes. Oh, I'm so excited because I'm, I'm pretty sure this is uh, what I was supposed to be getting for Christmas. I should go down and tell my husband to unwrap it. Or to wrap it, I mean. <laughs> oh, it looks like it is. Maybe. Drum roll. Yeah, this is it, I'm sure it's the right size. Oh, so exciting. Boy, I've been waiting for these for a long time. It's midway through March now. Oh, look. Selenier oil sticks. Oh, how fun is that? Wow. Nice. Beautiful packaging. What a gorgeous box. These are actually my first official oil sticks. I'm actually having, might have to take my camera off of here where you can smell the oil, oils in them. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take my camera off of here. Not pretty. It's got the booklet. Oh my gosh, they're all individually wrapped, are they? Wow. Oh, these are going to be so much fun to play with, guys. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. I've had oil pastels, but I've never had oil sticks, actual oil sticks. Wow, nice assortment of colors. What's this? I bet this is phthalo green, maybe? Turquoise blue. What a nice box. So they give you a gorgeous catalog, of course, of all the things that you can buy from them. Oil colors, gouache, oil sticks, additives, acrylic, fine acrylic. Oh, artist quality acrylic and fine acrylic. Artist quality watercolor. Student watercolor. Egg tempera. 
artist quality gouache, inks, painting material, paper albums and blocks, just to make you want more stuff. And this is the set of 24 oil sticks. Ooh, iridescence. I didn't know those were included. So iridescent gold, iridescent silver, yellow ochre, Burnt Umber, Raw Umber, Sepia, ooh, that's a nice color to have. Payne's Gray, ooh, yay. Love Payne's Gray. I'll have to swatch these out for you guys. Ivory Black. Look at this purple, guys. Manganese Violet, oh, that's so lovely. I hope it's showing up on the camera as lovely as it is. Ultramarine blue. Gotta have ultramarine blue, right? Light blue. Mm, that's a pretty color. Primary blue, so it's probably like a cyan. Turquoise blue, who doesn't love turquoise? Cobalt green light. Olive green, it's kind of dark to be able to tell without swatching it. Cadmium green light. Now that's a color I have never had before, cadmium green light. I usually like to mix my own greens. It'd be interesting to play with this. White. Titanium white. Cadmium yellow lemon. Primary yellow. Cad yellow deep. Cadmium orange. French vermilion. Primary red.
carmine root. Wow, how nice is that? Certainly waited a long time for them. These are going to be so much fun to swatch out. So there's 24. I don't know if this would come out if you wanted it to. Oh, yeah, it would. If you decided you wanted to take this out and just have them a larger selection loose in the box, you could do that. Really nice, really pretty set. If I can show you the inside of the back. Oops. Gosh, it's such a lovely set. Worth waiting for. <laughs> Would have been nice to get at Christmas time, but. I don't usually buy sets like this. I usually try things a little at a time, but I thought my birthday's in December, so I usually get something nice for myself between birthday and Christmas, and this was this was on sale at Christmas time. Merry Christmas in March, halfway through March. <laughs> okay, guys, I got them, and I couldn't wait to show them to you. So here we go. Selenier. So yummy. Can't wait to play with these. So I got to tell you, these are not easy to open. After doing uh, one, two, three, four of them, I think I figured out that if you find where the seam is in the plastic, and gosh, if you know of an easier way to open them that I'm not seeing, go ahead and leave it in the comments. But for me, it seems to be just run your finger along it and find where that seam is in the plastic and then go onto the bottom and give it a snip there. And then pull it off by the seam. Feel around for that seam right there in the plastic. Give it a snip and get your fingernail in there. Seems to work better sometimes than others. Goes right down the seam. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes it doesn't. But they got that wonderful oil smell. Mm -mm. Yeah, this is a, it's going to take a while to open these. It'd be really nice if they just had a tab that you pulled, but I don't see anything. Is there? I don't see a tab. Wow, that would be so much better. I suppose you could try pulling from the top. I tried that on the first one and it seemed like it worked better if I pulled from the bottom. Yeah, I think it's better if you find the seam, give it a snip and pull down there. That was, that's the best scenario when it just pulls right down the seam. Pull it. All right, well, there's 24 of these, so this is going to take a while. So I will go back to doing this, and then I will 
um, eventually I'll upload a swatch video of them. Hopefully in the next couple of days I'll do that because this is going to take a while. I'll do one more before I say goodbye. It's going to be so funny if somebody leaves me a note in the comments and says, oh, there's a tab here and you just pull it down. I don't think there is. Oops, I skipped one. Oh, see, you have to take the skin off the top. That time the plastic did that for me. Sometimes it does do that. But you got to peel the skin off the top before you start using them. So it has light fastness, it has the pigment name, pigment number. Light fast rating, the name in French and English. It must be a number for reordering. Extra fine, artist quality oil stick. These are considered the small sticks. And this says, to begin working, wipe off the outer surface film that forms as it dries. So you gotta wipe off. So I, um, I will grab a little piece of paper here just to see at least one of these. Oh, oh guys, it's like butter. <gasps> Beautiful. Wow. Oh, these are going to be so much fun to play with. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my gosh. They're just so smooth. Just like oil paint. Wow. I guess that's why they call them oil sticks, right? <laughs> so as I'm opening the sticks, I'm realizing they're just too messy to put back in here. Um, especially after you take the outer skins off and it's just the oil. I feel like it's just going to be too messy in here. So I'm going to try taking those out. And plus, if I want to add more to them, um, I think it'll be easier if I don't have these in. So these do come out. It's such a great way to ship them because they're so secure. But they do come out. And I'm going to try just leaving the ones that I've already peeled in here loose. They just, uh, I think they're going to make out better that way. I thought I'd jump back on here to show some of these, what some of these look like when they're unwrapped. Um, I'm not going to swatch them out right now, not all of them, but I grabbed some of the Richeson black art paper and a piece of white paper here. And let's just see the gold. Oh my gosh, guys, that is stunning. The silver. Oh, look at this on the black paper. Wow. I wonder if it's actually showing up on the camera as beautiful as it is in person. Um, let's see what one of the reds looks like. Oh, this one still has the skin. On it. So they say you got to peel the skin off, off the top. That's what the skin looks like. Here 
here's the which one is this this is primary red there it is on the black here's the primary red on the white wow isn't that rich wow couple more. Let's try cadmium yellow deep. Oops, got it. Got the skin on it. So this is how you break the skin off. And I guess it, you know, each time it skins up, you just break the skin off. I might wish I put gloves on for this, but wow, so buttery. Oh, it's delicious. That's a gorgeous color. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Ah. So yummy. When I swatch all of these, I will do it um, on both black and white because I think they just look so gorgeous on both. I love the smell of them. I think that they're going to be a lot of fun to play with. They'd be fun to play with on oil paintings and just to do a painting with them on their own. Okay, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you don't want to miss any videos. And thanks for watching my content. I really appreciate it. Take care, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.